And now weather with Melissa Hackney on KPBI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Here's a live look at I-15 and the Portland Valley, courtesy of our Portland Medical Center webcam. So the sun is coming up. We still have some clouds lingering, but they are going to be moving away. So we are going to have a mostly sunny sky and mild temperatures to start off with. 51 in Idaho Falls, 49 in Pocatello. We do have a wind speed of 6 miles per hour in Pocatello, and that wind is going to pick up throughout the day. Taking a look at our satellite and radar map of the region, you can see that we do have some showers to the west of us and some cloud coverage, but like I said, those clouds will be moving away as we are going to have a mostly sunny day. And some very warm temperatures today. 89 is expected in Pocatello, 87 in Idaho Falls, so we are well above average, and we actually are over record-breaking temperatures. So we could be breaking records today, a couple degrees over for Idaho Falls, and look at those overnight lows, a warm 53 degrees. So again, well above our, over, our overnight low average, 47 in Idaho Falls. Since midnight, both areas have been dry. Sunrise is happening right now and sunset will be at 846. Today in the lower plain, we are going to have mostly sunny skies and we could have wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. 89 is expected in Pocatello, 87 in American Falls, 85 in Blackfoot. In the upper plain, mostly sunny skies, 87 in Idaho Falls, 85 in Rexburg. In the mountains and highlands, mostly sunny skies, breezy there. 78 is expected in Soda Springs, 83 in Malad City and Arco, 85 in uh, Chalice. Then tonight in the mountains and highlands, much warmer than we've been seeing, 44 in Soda Springs, 48 in Malad City, 46 in Arco. Then tonight in the lower plain, great temperatures will be in the 50s for our overnight lows. 53 in Pocatello, 52 in American Falls, 49 in Blackfoot. We're still going to have that breeze though. Tonight we could, in the upper plain, we still could have gusts over 40 miles per hour. 47 is expected in Idaho Falls, 48 in Rexburg, 47 in St. Anthony. Then tomorrow in the upper plain, we are going to be cooling down a little bit back into the 70s. 73 in St. Anthony and Rexburg, 75 in Idaho Falls, but we're still going to be above average. We could have winds between 20 to 25 miles per hour. Then in the lower plain, we're going to have temperatures also dropping a little bit into back into the 70s. 73 in Pocatello and American Falls, 71 in Blackfoot. Also winds 20 to 25 miles per hour with mostly sunny skies. Then tomorrow in the mountains and highlands, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be dropping back into the 60s in a few areas. 78 in Arco, 79 in Chalice. Now let's take a look at our Pocatello six-day forecast. So again, we are going to be dropping back into the 70s, 77 on Wednesday, 72 on Thursday, then getting back into the 60s over the weekend, but we're still going to be around average even on the weekend. Then for Idaho Falls, six-day forecast, mostly sunny sky to the high of 78 on Wednesday, 72 on Thursday. Now let's take a look.